Tanzania is an union of Tanganyika in the mainland and the island of Zanzibar, located on the eastern side of Africa. There are 160 indigenous ethnic groups. The widespread of Swahili has lessened the tribal division. Tanzania is famous for its tourist attractions. There are about 40 million people, of which 90% are Bantu. Tanzanians enjoy religious freedom for worship and witness in the mainland. 50% of Tanzanian follows Christianity, 35% are Muslim, and 15% practices traditional tribal religions. Shalima and I arrived as missionaries on March 17, 2001. The Lord impressed our hearts to minister to the people of Dar es Salaam, a coastal port city and the commercial capital of Tanzania. The city is of Islamic majority. It was also the gateway of Islam in Eastern and Central Africa during the early centuries. The Lord blessed us with two daughters, Malaika and Emmanuel. They are homeschooled using the ECA curriculum from the Philippines. Tanzania is home to a team of BBI missionaries called Team Tanzania. Sharing the same faith and vision, we lovingly accepted to the team. Soon, we found ourselves involved in team-oriented ministries like the Baptist Bible College of Tanzania, regional youth camps, and a church plant in one of the city districts. In 2002, after the birth of our first daughter, we moved to Kimara, located in the western side of the city. We started to gather a number of people for Bible studies, and soon Sunday services. As the number of believers began to grow, it was evident that we need a bigger and permanent place for worship. The Lord led us to purchase of a 2,000 square meter property in 2004, the construction of a tabernacle type building and the fencing of the property started immediately. We also built our own home in a compound. Then after, other facilities were built. The Lord kept on supplying for the needs for the construction. In all these victories, we also faced great trials and oppositions. But the grace of God was with us too. We just come out to be better servants. In 2007, marked the opening of other ministries. KSF Christian Learning Center for Preschoolers. The school continues to provide quality and affordable education to the little ones. And also the Huruma Children's Home was started to help a number of orphans in the country whose lives been shattered by the death of parents to HIV. With the help of missionary Dave Jones, we were led to purchase a land in Goba town in 2009 and immediately the construction of a house that can house at least 16 children and caretakers soon started. The orphanage was turned over to national leadership in 2012. The children are now grown up and a number of them are already reunited with their families and the rest are still in school. Before we turn over the orphanage, we will need to pray on how we can minister to the people in a deeper manner. In 2013, missionaries Bob Dodson, Mitz Kalmes and I share a vision of starting a Bible school and training center for pastors and church leaders. This is to answer a need in a country where many of our pastors have little or no formal Bible school education. 
We had nine students in our initial year. And last October 16 was the first graduation of the Bible Training Center with seven graduates. We are just excited for the future Bible Training Center. We already received 10 applicants for next year. The city of Jerusalem has greater potential for evangelism. The city population is to double in 10 years. New villages are sprouting in the outskirts of the city. Places that were buses are turned into habitable communities to accommodate the ever-growing number of people. Dar es Salaam is one of the fastest growing cities in Sub-Saharan Africa with a population growth of 8% and is projected to reach 10 million people in 10 years, making it as one of the biggest cities in Africa. As the economy grows, people began to make a shift from renting to building their own housing in remote places where the lands are affordable. A number of families from our church already moved. Our mission is to start our work in villages where our people are going. In 2014, the Bible study was started in a pity village, Kibaha town. A piece of land was purchased. We began to build immediately. Brother Jun Ruiza was one of my trusted men. He is now the pastor of the new church in Fiji. The Kimara church is blessed with men who have the heart for mission. They are giving to faith promise, mission offering that enable us to support Joven and his family to in Fiji. Two of notable people that the Lord brought into our care are Dr. Alina Nuswe Makaboko and Lutopio Mongtobe. They are professors at the University of Dar es Salaam, humble men who have the heart to serve the Lord. Dr. Makaboko resigned from the second university that he is in faculty to devote more time with the church and evangelism. Truly, the Lord is blessing and building His church. How can you help? You can help the things on family by doing these three things. Pray, give, and go. Yes, pray. It is by the prayers of churches and friends that we can minister in Africa. Pray that we will continue to be faithful, be one of our prayer partners. Give. As the work continues to grow, the need also is growing. Go. This is a personal request and our prayer for some time. Would you consider Tanzania as your mission field? Were you blessed? Uh, in 2000, my father was very ill and uh, I flew to Jensen through Cebu. I have several hours in Cebu, so I said to myself, I look for a church. Because Sunday night I report at all. I look for a church and I went to a Baptist church. And when I attended the church, Brother Jesse was, uh, the, the pastor said, let's pray for Brother Jesse because he will start his deputation to go to Tanzania as a missionary. I did not know Brother Jesse here. But after the service, now after the, the Friday Sunday school, I went to him, shook his hand, and uh, from that, uh, immediately after that, personally I started supporting him in 2000. And uh, our church also supported him, and until now our church here in Berea Baptist Church is supporting him. And whatever is uh, being accomplished in Tanzania, I am very proud and very pleased to say that by the grace of God, Berean Baptist Church has a part. Amen. And to all African brothers, our churches in the Philippines care so much about Africa. Amen. And we are asking you to get involved in giving to missions. Amen. If God is calling you uh, to go, go. 
Imagine he is an engineer, he is the eldest in the family and the parents were counting on him to help with the schooling of his uh, siblings but when God called him, he had to obey God. Amen. He left his comfort zone and went to Africa. His daughter, his, uh, one of his child died in Tanzania and he buried his daughter in the jungle of Africa. And now they are in four law, I think, for the first time and uh, praise God for these things. Next week we will show you a film of Vietnam. Missionary Garcines, one of our missionaries from Jensen, he is in Vietnam, and one of his son also died, uh, Rinzo, and we will show you that film, I believe it will touch your heart. But while you come lead us our, our singing, it's time to start already.